I want to get to this Ram truck commercial that was played at the Super Bowl. We got some people responding to that ad. And by the way, most of you probably have forgotten this is so-called Black History Month. And whatever that's supposed to mean, it's the shortest month of the year. So you don't have to deal with it for that long. <laughs> I, I think that is a awful mistake to have something called black history, white history, Mexican history. They won't allow white history month. Isn't that amazing? But you could have Mexican history, Filipino history, homosexual history, transgender history, uh, mixed race history. James is here. And I, I mentioned that this is Black History Month. And I personally think that Everyone who celebrate Black History Month and you think that it's cool, you need to be deported back to Africa, wherever you came from. Sent back, deported back, or take you back, or go there, if, even if you've never been there before. It is so evil and ridiculous to celebrate something called Black History Month when you are an American citizen. And these same people cry so-called racism, we all know that racism doesn't exist, but they cry racism while at the same time separating themselves. Anyway, there was a Ram truck commercial, official Super Bowl commercial, played during the Super Bowl, and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Uh, built to serve. Here's the commercial. Wonderful. If you want to be recognized, wonderful. If you want to be great, wonderful. But recognize that he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. That's a new definition of greatness. By giving that definition of greatness, it means that everybody can be great. You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know the theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. You only need a heart full of grace. Soul generated by love. That commercial is so powerful, I can barely stand it. I know. It reminds me of the good old days. It reminds me of Martin Luther King Jr. when he was that way. It reminds me of trucks when they were built that way. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, America was strong back then, you know? Anyway, there's some people who don't like it. <laughs> right. They're here. I have a few tweets from, for example, the Boston Globe columnist Renee Graham tweeted, according to Slate, Ava DuVernay, couldn't use MLK's speeches in the movie Selma, which we watched, by the way. I don't blame him. Sucked. Yet the estate was fine with the use of his words to sell a Dodge truck. I'm glad they didn't let him, them use it in Selma. Me too. That was a setup. Yeah. Uh, Jared Yates Sexton is a writer and a professor. He tweeted, The Dodge ad with MLK was repulsive. It's important to remember this is what corporations do. They digest progress and sell it back to us. And he wrote a whole thread. That's, uh, these people hate men. They hate strength. They hate God. They hate a strong America. That's all that's happened to be, I mean, have to be happening here. Yeah. John Cusack, or Cusack, actor, uh, he tweeted, by the way, John Cusack, he's blocked probably you and me and everybody else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who openly supports Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tweeted at him. MLK, who died striking with workers, decrying militarism and imperial war makers, used to sell shiny trucks with marching soldiers. Corporate America, NBC, NFL should be ashamed. Who's, oh, John said this? Yeah. Poor John. <laughs> Don't blame him. Trump hater. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. I thought this was a powerful, powerful commercial, and it should be inspiring to all of Americans 
and especially black Americans, and especially all men. Yeah. So you know the um, later on in his in his speech, it, he talks about advertisers, and a lot of liberals are pointing it out that that advertisers are using language to trick people into uh, appealing to their pride and trying to get a better car than anybody else and stuff like that. Well, that's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he says that America is like the main culprit of of uh, basically appealing to your ego and chasing after materialism. Who said like this? Uh, MLK said this. Oh. In this same speech. But uh, this this truck is this advertisement is not trying to sell, it's not necessarily trying to make you think that you're better than your neighbor. Right, that's the whole thing. I'm telling you, they have a whole um, Ram Trucks has a whole volunteer program where the owners volunteer and participate in you know great ad. Yeah, I can see it brought tears to your eyes. <laughs> You are a true American, James. Oh, no thank wonder you. you blew John out of the water, your guest on your show last Sunday. Right. You're like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I have to admit, James, and, and to you out there in the world, when I saw this ad, I loved it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so I'm like, wow. Yeah. That's the Martin Luther King Jr. that I remember. I don't remember this liberal, godless, watered down, soft, Martin Luther King Jr. that they present now in the black community. Yeah. This Martin Luther King Jr. that support any, everything that's wrong <laughs> and, and then anything that's good, they don't show that about the man, right? This is the Martin Luther King Jr. I grew up knowing or yeah. knowing about. I didn't personally know him. And this ad just brought back all of those memories of Dr. King. Yeah. Dr. King was not some little girly boy that thought that uh, transgender, same-sex marriage, black folks on welfare, affirmative action. He wasn't into all that. This is the But this ad does not represent black folks at all, though. Not today's blacks. It's too strong. It's too moral. It's too right. It's too loving. That's not black people. No. The King Center, which is headed by Bernie's King, the daughter of Dr. King? One of the daughters, yeah. One of the daughters? They tweeted, Neither the King Center nor Bernice King is the entity that approves the use of MLK's words or imagery for use in merchandise, entertainment, movies, music, artwork, etc., or advertisement, including tonight's Dodge Super Bowl commercial. So they disavowed this commercial. Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good and too strong for them. And there was a... Uh, Representative Keith Ellison, Democrat from Minnesota. That Muslim guy? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he said, ordinarily, he tweeted, ordinarily, I wouldn't mention Dodge Ram's Super Bowl ad because I wouldn't want to draw attention to it. But exploitation of Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech about servant leadership to sell trucks is a new low. Anything that's good, the blacks are against it. Yeah. Not all, not all, not all, but most. But I've told you, in the last 60 years... Majority of black Americans have not stood for anything that's good. And I have some more examples of that coming up for you. Anything else? Well, I have a statement from Ram Trucks as well as from the estate of uh, Martin Luther King. Okay. Uh, this is from Ram Trucks. It is 50 years to the day that Dr. MLK Jr. gave such a tremendous speech about the value of service. Yeah. Ram was honored to have the privilege of working closely with the estate of Martin Luther King Jr., to celebrate those words during the largest TV viewing event annually. And the estate of Martin Luther King, I don't have time to read it, but they were pleased to find out that Ram has this volunteer program where truck owners volunteer as, you know, firefighters, disaster relief, all that. Check out James' show, the Hake, H-A-K-E, report.com on the weekends. Back in a moment to your phone calls. Thank you, James. <laughs> So where's the outcry on over this billboard? Here's a group of folks who are using uh, Martin Luther King image to promote AIDS. It says AIDS is a civil rights issue. AIDS is a civil rights issue, and it's not. I don't hear an outcry about that. AIDS is a civil rights is issue, and they have the uh, image of Martin Luther King. That's the wrong 
place to use Dr. King. Dr. King wasn't into, uh, Dr. King wasn't into homosexuality. What? Anyway, great ad, uh, Dodge. Great job. Let me go to Greg out of Wilmington, Delaware. Greg, thanks for calling and thanks for holding you on the air. Hey, you're welcome. Good morning. Hey, Greg. So everybody knows the left wing has a monopoly on using Martin Luther King for marketing purposes. So yes. please never forget that. That's right. 